Man, sometimes these old games are a pain to record. This thing, this monitor, or rather, this window does not like to be captured. It refuses to be bound by any kind of capture program. But I got to work. So, welcome to Let's Play SpongeBob 3D Obstacle Odyssey, another game I actually haven't played, but one I heard about a lot. This game was advertised like crazy, if I remember right, just based off my own personal memory for the Nick Arcade. It was the main game that was actually advertised for it, as well as its sequel, Obstacle Odyssey 2, which is actually still for sale on some obscure website. In any case, if I remember right, it's just some platform game. I never played it or anything. I believe I actually played a demo of it once, many, many years ago. But, it doesn't matter. Let's try it out. So it sounds like it's rather brief. I believe people managed to speed around this game in like 20 minutes to half an hour. Why are you calling level settings? Starting board. Oh no. Boards! Alright, let's just start with the simplest thing we have. I guess boards are levels, so we get to choose which level we start at, at in increments of 5 or so. Baby steps indeed, let's start out. I don't- I didn't even read the controls actually. Space jump? Okay, so it's all we need. Yeah. Arrow keys and space. Hi Patrick. So we, we are SpongeBob, we want to see Patrick, that's how life goes, it seems like. I don't know at the bubble counter- oh. Bubble counters are assigned bubbles there are to pick up. Do we need to pick them up? Learn to turn. Do I want to turn? Not really, no. Well, hmm. I, well, I might as well get an all items bonus just to get as much as I can out of this. Okay, I admit, that's actually kind of a cool effect. Some of these effects are actually kind of nice. Not because they're impressive or anything, it's just kind of decent flair. I do remember some people having well into this game because it looks horrid, but whatever. It does look rather simple and lazy. Oh wow, that's actually interesting. So you slow down if you go up a slope, and you actually slide down uh, slopes as well. That's weird, you actually like, stumble down the slopes. So you can run down a slope, like that, or you can actually just let go and you'll slide. And you, yeah, if you start sliding, you actually have to stop before you can get control of this whole game. That's an odd physics choice. I didn't expect to have any kind of physics. Oh, hi, Sandy's here too. That's a really odd looking, uh, hi, model. It, it's, it looks like it's just a lower resolution model of, oh, hi, I'm Sandy. Lower resolution model of the Belfort King Bottom model. Which, ah, oh, I don't remember when Belfort King Bottom came out. This is in 2004? I think it's around the time Bob came on, isn't it? I kind of want to see what happens if you lose a life, but I'm sure I'll find out eventually anyways. Weave and Bob. You heard him, Bob. Oh, I don't catch it. That happens. Awesome. Let's try that again. Oh, wow! Oh, that's awesome! Yes! Oh, that's amazing! Ha! I love it. It's even better. I see a really awesome physics going on here! So, if I remember right, I do have access to the assets of this game, actually. I could replace all the textures if I wanted to. I believe I actually used the... I think I already created a thumbnail for this series. Which I don't usually do, I usually create thumbnails after... Whoa. I usually create thumbnails after... Boom. Okay then. I usually create thumbnails after I record videos, but in this case I'm pretty sure I already made one. For this series, and I believe I actually used assets from the game's resources. That's weird, I didn't expect this. That is kind of cool. I didn't. I just didn't expect physics. I just expected basic platforming. I don't know if I'm impressed, but it's something I didn't expect. It's kind of cool in its own right. Okay. Can I just like? Oh, I see jumping. That's why I'm hearing that sound. Jumping is actually not allowed in this level. I disagree with. I want to run this way. There we go. Okay. It's awkward, but it's an idea. I guess if we run out of lives, you just start at the 
most recent board. I'm gonna have to keep in mind what board we're at then that goes. For example, if you fall off here, we're gonna want to start at board 5 again. I believe. I believe that's our next choice. I'm not exactly trying to impress anyone here, but at the same time, I'd also like to not waste time. What is that here? What are you? That's what you do. I'm getting diminishing returns off of that for some reason. It's odd. Are you gonna slide? Slide! I'm oh, what? Why? Why? Okay. And the, and the walls worked for the mo The words were were uh, the walls were working until then. How'd they stop? Yeah, if you really want to be faster, you have to jump across this, and that'd be very dangerous. Yeah, but why? The why was that not an option anymore? All right. So what is it about this area actually? When I think about this, it's supposed to be reminiscent of Bikini Bottom. I'm not getting much of a feel for that. Oh man, you can see what's breaking. Through. Lots of stuff in this. Okay, so let's, let's try to take this slowly. Let's try to fight the current a little bit. There we go. And we get extra lives in this. I think they're. I'm pretty sure in the game's sound effects, I saw uh, an extra life sound effect, so they're probably extra lives in this to find somewhere. Now we have to learn to jump. Can you do that, SpongeBob? Yay. Alright. So, it sounded like there were... I didn't quite count how many boards there were. Oh, I was going through the menus earlier. So, if there, let's say there are 20 boards for each area, and there are three areas, so that would be... I believe about... I should I just play through any? Oh man, Mr. Krabs is immune to physics. That's interesting. He doesn't slide or anything. And he goes up slowly. A nice slides. Yeah, I wish you'd actually just have like alternate unlockable characters to play as. And start playing through levels as Sandy or Mr. Krabs. Pretty interesting feature. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's not something you can do. Ugh. Line. It's not going to be faster than one, one, one way or another. Oh man, look at that. You can actually keep your momentum if you... Uh, start sliding down and jump. Ah! Now then. 410. I like this. The physics are fun. Whoa! Uh, okay, well, no bubble, but whatever. How many points do each bubble give you? Oh, doesn't seem like each bubble gives you all that much. This is rotating, isn't it? Yeah, okay, there we go. I don't think I need it more time. I have uh, over a minute. Zoom! That's odd. I can make a return. I can return from patch if I so desire. Oh! Because there are arrows there. I guess the idea is I just have to jump over those. That's not steep enough for me to actually. Whoa! Slide down the thing. I actually need to keep my hands on the controls. Beauty. Oh, nice. It is a maze. Do these actually have collisions? Yes. Oh. Yeah, I guess that is a good idea. Does save me jumping on this one? I wish there was actually an indication somewhere that you can't jump on a given level, though. Just to give you a heads up beforehand. It's kind of easy to guess, I guess. Because the ones where you can't jump are the ones where it would be really easy just to exploit and skip the whole thing if you couldn't. Do I have a reason to do this? Yeah, I can just skip stuff. Well, I can jump back to the start. I guess I could, strictly speaking, skip just about anything that way, but... So 
Okay, I'm not really sure the point of that is. We have time, might as well. Oh, you're mean. Okay. Why do we want bubbles? So I'd rather have some kind of prejudice against bubbles, always wanting to pop them. Okay. There we go. 